four essential tips to extend the life of an ultra thin skin. So guys, what is an ultra thin skin? An ultra thin skin is a poly base. It looks like this. This one's about three months old. Now it's very thin. So usually it ranges from about 0.02 millimeters up to about 0.05 millimeters. This one is a 0.04. So this is the Louis C3 from La Vivid. As you can see, it's really quite delicate compared to other systems like lace systems and thicker poly systems, monofilament silk. It's definitely more delicate. It generally doesn't last as long. However, it can last longer than you think when you apply the right tools. Okay, so a lot of people within the industry, they'll say you can get like a one month out of an ultra thin skin. Now, I don't think that is true. That has not been my experience, but I've implemented the following tips that are coming up in this video that's always allowed me to extend the ultra thin skin to about three months. And given that nowadays I see a lot of videos where ultra thin skins are being applied more so than any other base, this video really makes sense to make. So, so tip number one is about adhesion. Now I never, ever, ever use tape on an ultra thin skin. I always use glue because glue doesn't attach as powerfully, it doesn't bond as powerfully to the system. So it's better at working with a thinner membrane like this one, for instance. Also at the same time, when considering glue, try and go for one of the white ones. They don't bond as strongly as like an ultra hold glue, for instance. They're easier to get off, but that also means they're easier to clean off, which is really, really important with an ultra thin skin. So I'd personally recommend Ghost Bond or maybe Great White by Walker. Those are the two that I'd only use when it comes to wearing an ultra thin skin. So you wanna be using a bond that looks something like this. This is Ghost Bond. This is the perfect kind of bond to use for ultra thin skin, as long as your skin gets along with it. Now tip number two, please handle this base more delicately than you would a lace base, a thicker poly, or any other base. This is the most fragile, so treat it like a fragile base. Treat it with care, treat it with compassion, because yes, it's gonna be more comfortable for you, but at the same time, it is more delicate. So please, when it's on your head, don't start pulling at it. Don't be abrasive with it. Just take care of it. If you've got an itch, don't try scratching the system really hard. Just tap it like this. Just tap it and generally the itch goes away. That doesn't put any strain on the system like it would do if you're scratching it. Now tip number three, and this is arguably the most important tip out of all of them, is using proper cleaning techniques. Now what do I mean by that? I mean don't go hard on the system when you're trying to clean off the adhesive. I learned a couple of weeks ago a really useful cleaning technique which doesn't put any pressure on the system. It involves putting the system, once it's removed from your head, putting it in hot water and leaving it for 20 minutes. This gives the system time for the adhesion, the glue, to break up in the water. And then when you take the system out, 20 minutes later, you can just pull it off with your fingers. It comes off so, so easily. What you might wanna do as well, just add a couple of sprays of C22 into the water. Now an image is gonna pop up on the screen right now of me doing this a couple of weeks ago. There's also a video which I'm gonna share at the end of this one, which shows you actually how I did this. So stick around for that. And lastly, tip number four, and this again is a really useful tip if you wanna make your ultra thin skin last as long as possible, is try and keep it on your head for at least two weeks at a time. With these kind of bases, because they break apart so easily, the actual cleaning process can be quite hard on the system. So the less cleaning processes you have to do, the longer the hair system is gonna last. Now, I've, this isn't an ultra thin skin, this is like a medium thin skin I've got on right now. Now, I've just got a white glue on this system and it's been on for over two weeks and it's still sticking really well. So if you can get it over two weeks, you're doing a great job and the system, the ultra thin skin will last longer. So let's summarize those tips again. Tip number one, use glue. Use glue over tape. Preferably use white glues like Ghost Bond or Great White. Tip number two. Tip number two, be careful with the system. Don't be rough with it. Be careful with it. If you've got an itch, tap your head. Don't scratch it, it stresses out the system. Tip number three, use the cleaning technique, which I'm gonna show in the video popping up at the end of this video. Really important, letting the system soak in hot water for 20 minutes, adding some C22. 
Again, it reduces any pulling or tugging on the hair system base, thus weakening its structure. And tip number four, try and keep the system on for two weeks minimum at a time before doing a clean and rebond. The less cleans an ultra thin skin needs, the longer it will last, it's as simple as that. Now, I hope you found that video really helpful, guys. If you'd like to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, if you've got more questions, or you'd like to help me walk you through this, please feel free to book in a one-on-one -on -one with me, get half an hour with me, and you can ask me any questions you like. All of that is in the description box below. If you're interested in getting your own hair system, getting an ultra thin skin, don't forget to use my discount code 15% off on levividhair.com. All the products such as Ghost Bond C22, again, they're in my description box. So you can check those out with links. And if you found this video helpful, why not like it? Share it with your friends. It might help other people get longer out of their ultra thin skins. It's a really interesting topic. Ultra thin skins are really in right now. So I'm hoping everyone finds this super helpful and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.